Good afternoon to all. Honorable President of India, Shri Pranav Mukherjee, distinguished members of the Honorable President, staff and gentlemen. Today, all of us from National Academy of Defense Production feel privileged to be with Honorable President of India, Shri Pranav Mukherjee. There could not have been a better way to conclude the year-long induction training program for the 30 officers of the IOFS 2011 batch. The 30 officers, 27 engineers through the engineering services examination and three through the civil service examination had detailed exposure to culture and heritage of our country, structure and working of the government, technologies and products of the Autons factories, and a live exposure at the forward borders of the country where our gallant Jawans are engaged in defending the motherland. As principal supplier of arms, ammunition, and equipments to the Indian Defense Forces and paramilitary forces, ordnance factories have a critical role in the defense of the nation. I am sure this rare privilege of meeting and listening to the first citizen of the country will inspire and motivate the young officers to work dedicatedly in the service of the nation. On this occasion, we fondly recall the opportunity we had at NADP to have Sri Pranab Mukherjee in his earlier role as Honorable, Honorable Defense Minister of India in the valedictory program of IOFS officers during January 2006. Sir, we are beholden to you for your gracious presence and look forward to your words of wisdom and advice. Thank you. Honorable President of India, today is a historic occasion for the officers of the Indian Ordnance Factory Service 2012 first batch because nothing can be bigger than this interaction with you, sir. This is to inform that under your auspices, our parent institute, National Academy of Defense Production, had orchestrated a course structure for one year which had a useful blend of general administrative principles, organizational procedures, technical and engineering aspects. Along with these, a specialized management module by the esteemed IIM Calcutta was also arranged, from which all the officers gained immensely. Further, we were exposed to the various facets of Indian culture and heritage, India's national movement, and the polity of India. Finally, we had an interaction with the armed forces whereby we went to the forward areas to gain first-hand knowledge of the user fraternity. The course ultimately culminated with our interaction with the scholarly members of parliament at the Bureau of Parliamentary Studies and Training. And finally, zooming towards the zenith as we met Honorable Defense Minister of India. But this is the day for which we longed, and our dreams have come true. To conclude, I, Dr. Uddeepan Mukherjee, on behalf of the whole batch, would like to thank our senior principal director, our course director, and Ordnance Factory Board for designing a course module which could cater to both the generalists as well as the specialists. And if I may take the liberty to say a line in Bengali for our honorable president, sir, আমাদের সকলের পক্ষ থেকে আপনাকে আন্তরিক অভিনন্দন ধন্যবাদ স্যার অনারেবল প্রেসিডেন্ট স্যার ইন এক্সটেনশন টু হোয়াট এভার মাই কলিগ হ্যাজ জাস্ট কনভেড আই উড লাইক টু অ্যাড দ্য ফলোইং অ্যাজ আওয়ার ডিপার্টমেন্ট ইজ ম্যান পাওয়ার এক্সটেনসিভ সো ইউ আর এক্সপোজ টু দ্য নিউয়েন্সেস অফ অ্যাডমিনিস্ট্রেশন বাই দ্য গুরুজ অফ ম্যানেজমেন্ট দ্যাট ইজ আই এম ক্যালকাটা দেন উই ট্রাভেল অ্যাক্রস দ্য লেন্থ এন্ড ব্রেথ অফ দ্য কান্ট্রি এন্ড ভিজিটেড মেজর অর্ডিনেন্স ফ্যাক্টরিজ ওয়ে উই গট অ্যাকোয়েন্টেড উইথ দ্য মডার্নাইজেশন প্রোজেক্টস which are going on at present. Lastly, in the Army attachment, we were closely associated with the Army for a couple of weeks, and we could comprehend the real demand of our ultimate customers, that is the armed forces. We were further motivated to work well, so that we have greater synthesis between the armed forces and ordnance factories. Thank you, sir. Senior officers, provisioners, welcome to Rashtrapati Bhavan. It's indeed a privilege for me to welcome you to Rashtrapati Bhavan at the conclusion 
of your year-long training period. First of all, I would like to congratulate you on your success in a difficult competitive examination, civil service examination, which speaks of your excellence and individual performance. You are entering into a long career and at the beginning of that career, you have all my best wishes. I wish you success in every endeavor. I understand you are all about to complete your one year rigorous academic training, comprising of various technical administration and field modules, including army attachment and parliamentary visit. Indian Ordnance Factory Organization is one of the oldest and one of the largest government operated production organization with a network of 41 factories and 32 other formations like training institutes, etc., spread all over India. Its state-of-the-art manufacturing facilities, a big reserve of skilled and professionally qualified manpower, and the managerial personnel like you coming from civil services and engineering services make it a unique organization of its kind. The contribution of ordnance factories during the three year wars and the Kargil operation has been acknowledged by the armed forces and Ministry of Defense. No wonder the organization has aptly earned the name of force behind our armed forces, which is ever ready to contribute towards the defense and the peacekeeping efforts in the country. Ordnance factories have unique blend of vintage as well as state-of-the-art manufacturing technologies and systems. Its process cover wide spectrum of engineering specializations, namely mechanical, electrical, metallurgical, chemical, textile, leather, optics, and electronics. I must say that for all of you, it will be an ideal workplace to try your place, hone your skills, and gather rich and varied experience. This is notwithstanding the pride and satisfaction you will get from the fact that by producing quality arms and ammunition, you are strengthening country's armed forces and thus contributing to national security requirements. However, while trying your managerial and technical skills, never ever forget that every failed bullet or weapon <coughs> life of a soldier will be at stake, who is just performing his call of duty for the safety and integrity of this great country. It's not about producing arms and ammunition only. It is about giving quality products, ensuring timely deliveries, and strengthening hands of our armed forces, paramilitary forces, and police forces. In the backdrop of the current threat perception of our national security, 
it has become imperative to be self-reliant in defense preparedness. As OFB is mandated to equip armed forces with arms and ammunition, it has no choice but to always unfailingly meet the expectations of its customers, that is, Indian Armed Forces. It must play the role of being a proactive total solution provider rather than a back-end delivery organization, since this is the need of the hour. Time overruns and cost overruns must be avoided as any delay in supplies will be detrimental to our defense preparedness. Innovation and modernization is the key to survival for ordnance factories. In today's continually changing environment, OFB must innovate itself to be competitive and relevant with times. Therefore, it has to upgrade itself, restructure its systems, introduce newer technologies, and update and invest in human resources. You all, as young executives, have a great role to play on this count, since as young recruits, you bring in fresh perspectives and new ideas, and therefore will be able to objectively see, analyze, and timely advise your seniors, wherever it is needed. So, never ever hesitate in generating, seeking, and giving good ideas. Remember that it takes numerous ideas to get a few doable ones that finally lead to the innovations. And the organization needs it, the country needs it, and I quote here Eleanor Roosevelt, who said once, I quote, great minds discuss ideas, average minds discuss events, small minds discuss people, unquote. The Defense Production Policy 2011 spells out the strategy to build a robust indigenous defense industrial base by placing trust on indigenization, self-reliance, and research and development. Along with departmental public sec <coughs> sector undertakings, OFB is also gearing up itself in this direction and will be counting upon you. In the times to come, you will be manning the decision-making positions. However, you must ensure that the integrity of the government decision-making is not compromised. Ensure transparency in your decision-making and actions. Extensive use of technology is one effective tool to ensure transparency and eliminate scope for unfair practices, and I'm sure you would use the same extensively. Your joining is going to further enrich the human capital of the Ordnance Factories organization. I wish you all successful completing in your training and in your future career. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I, on behalf of Ordnance Factory Board and NADP in particular, I express my most sincere gratitude to the President for sparing his precious time for this occasion. I also thank all officials of Rashpati Bhavan for making this visit possible and in a very time frame manner. Sir, these few moments spent here will be our most prized possession and will be cherished lifelong. These young officers came for a glimpse of the President of India, and I'm sure they are going as blessed, more confident, more committed, and more 
proud servant of government of India. Thank you once again and namaskar. Yes, please. Thank you, sir.